Thank you, Brilliant, for sponsoring today's video. Lily is about to graduate from college with a computer science degree. She applied to over 200 jobs and went through grueling rounds of interviews, but it did pay off and she ended up with two offers, one as a software engineer and one as a data scientist. She's obviously super happy, grateful, very, very relieved. But now the question is, which to choose? On one hand, software engineering is something that she's more familiar with. It has a lot more job openings. It's a more defined career. A lot of her friends are software engineers. On the other hand, she's always been interested in data. She also really enjoys Enjoy taking the machine learning courses that were offered as electives. And the field of data science seems like it's growing rapidly with more and more people being interested in data and using data. So what to do, what to do? She has watched all the videos um, about software engineering, about data science. She's reached out to people on LinkedIn, but ultimately it feels really abstract because it's hard to envision yourself actually going down either career paths and knowing which one you would like better. And you know, the thing is Lily has always been a pretty indecisive person, at least when it comes to her career. In college, she changed her major a lot, going from finance to pharmacology, to literature, and she ultimately settled on computer science. Basically, it has been a struggle and she has commitment issues. To her, it feels like every step she's supposed to narrow down what it is that she wants to do for the rest of her life, with all the other options just closing forever. The thought of choosing wrong terrifies her. Okay, so this is what I would tell Lee. Don't sweat it, girl. You're right. You are probably going to choose the wrong career. Wait, what did, what did you say? But it's okay, almost everybody does. I mean, seriously, the probability of you choosing the right career is so small. First of all, how are you supposed to know you would really like doing something without embarking on that journey and actually experiencing it? For example, maybe you think data science is about building fancy machine learning models. Maybe you think it's about like a lot of coding and in reality, it might just be you sitting there cleaning data for 80% of your time and losing your mind. Here's a stat. Only 27% of college grads have a job in their major. Another reason why you probably choose your career wrong is the fact that careers are very long. In fact, a lot of the jobs that you see right now weren't even available like five years or 10 years ago. And it's hard to imagine what jobs will look like in five years or 10 years from now. And you get people like me and I genuinely love what I do right now. I love my job. I think my career is going in a direction that I will be very happy with in the future as well. But what exactly do I do? I make internet videos for you guys. I write a newsletter, which by the way, y'all should check out over here where I talk about my life and stuff and I run an octopus program about self-learning like what like how could I possibly have known that I would be doing something like this so you see if you somehow decide that you want to just like must exactly get the best career right now that is a lot of pressure on yourself and statistically speaking you're probably going to be wrong unless you know yourself very well and you can also predict the future and even some of the smartest and most successful people out there has pivoted multiple times in their career Elon Musk for example graduated from UPenn with a dual degree in physics and econ he started to PhD program in material science, ended up dropping out and then founded several companies in a bunch of different fields. Sheryl Sandberg, the formal COO of Meta, she started off with a bachelor in economics, worked at the World Bank, did an MBA, went to management consulting, worked in advertising, and then ended up as the chief operating officer at a tech company. Okay, so I hope I drove home that point that it's okay, don't stress out so much. Like you're probably gonna choose the wrong career anyway. A bit rude, but noted. And it's okay if you change your mind. Some of the most successful people do. But I do wanna make a point that there is one thing that matters way, way more to have an amazing career. And it's something that all successful people share. And that is a growth mindset. Someone with a growth mindset believes that intelligence, talents, and abilities are learnable and you can improve on them. And and this is in contrast with someone with a fixed mindset that believes that you pretty much are given what you have and then that's about it. So having this growth mindset is what allows you to adapt, to improve, and to learn so that you can thrive in whatever it is that you choose to do. And when the opportunity presents itself for something better, it allows you to take that opportunity and jump to the next thing and then thrive in that as well. Now that is how you end up with the best career for you. Going back to Elon Musk, he's one of the best examples out there. Like the guy started off in something, realized that there was another opportunity that he could take advantage of and he just jumped at the opportunity. He went from an econ and physics person to building rockets. <laughs> That's insane. From my personal experience as well, I noticed that the smartest people and the most successful people are often those that started off in a certain career, ended up like pivoting and jumping when opportunity presents itself. <laughs> For example, I know a guy who races bikes and now he works in growth marketing. A doctor who became a software engineer and then became a crypto developer. These people are so dynamic and I think they are the ones that end up being the happiest with the career that they ultimately craft for themselves. Okay, so hopefully you feel less stressed out about this now and are more interested in developing a growth mindset. But let's go back to Lily's example. She still has to make a choice. Do we go for software engineering or do we go for data science? Well, in Lily's case, obviously both offers are absolutely amazing. My advice would be to go for the choice that allows you to learn the most. 
most. Commit to this. Open yourself up. Go out there and learn as much as you can. And when you're presented with an opportunity to learn more, something that's exciting, something that's new, take that opportunity because you're confident in your ability to learn and to adapt to any situation, which will push you to greater heights. And that is how you end up crafting your perfect career. You see, you don't choose your perfect career. You craft your perfect career. Okay, so before I end this video, I do want to make one more point. You see, I'm a pretty conservative person by nature. What I mean by this is that I respect people who are able to pursue their passions and be like, this is the thing that I love doing, and they don't think that much about money or status. But with me, I do care about money, I do care about status, and I also like having a certain quality of life. So if I were given a choice between something like, I don't know, like a film assistant, uh, I may be super interested in film, super passionate about it, or a job offer at a tech company in which I'm making really good money, I will go with the tech company that's making me really good money. But while I'm on that job, I would also be self-learning how to do film stuff and maybe create a YouTube channel so I'm able to explore that side of things as well. Maybe one day I will have an opportunity in which I can then combine these two things together. Now a word from our sponsor, Brilliant.org. We've been talking a lot today about having a growth mindset, having that ability to self-study, to learn new things. Well, Brilliant is a great resource for this, for all STEM subjects. Brilliant is a STEM learning platform that specializes in interactive, hands-on learning. Brilliant is so good at learning STEM subjects specifically that recruiters and interviewers at top tech companies actually recommend using Brilliant to learn and review math and stats for data science interviews. It really focuses on not just learning the material, but about problem solving and using logic. Even now when I'm not doing any interviews in particular, I still use Brilliant to keep on learning new STEM subjects and making sure that I don't forget things that I knew in the past. Especially things like math and stats that I personally have a tendency of forgetting. They have timeless course offerings like math and stats, programming with Python, as well as new course offerings to explore topics like neural networks and quantum computing. So if you're interested in the subjects, you can join the millions of people already learning on Brilliant and head on over to www.brilliant.org slash Tina Huang to get started for free. Also linked in description. If you go through my link, the first 200 people will get 20% off an annual membership. All right, back to the video. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope this was helpful for you. I hope you feel less stressed out about choosing the right career and things like that. Let me know in the comments if you're choosing between different careers right now, what the different options are and what you think you're going to do now. And I will see you guys in the next video or live stream.